Hi, it's Mauna here from Mau GT back again with another video. I know it has been a while, but I do have a pretty exciting product for you guys today. So before we jump into this, just real quick, I'm recording this on my iPad front-facing camera. So if the video is a little weird, I apologize. I just wanted to make this really quick video because it's on something that I'm pretty excited about. So as you may know, I recently, well, not super recently, in December, I upgraded to the Pixel 6 and I had the original Pixel Buds but they were giving me some issues, so I eventually switched to the Nothing Ear ones, which I've got a video coming on these soon. But Google just announced the Pixel Buds Pro, and here they are. So in this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Pixel Buds Pro, show you guys around them, set them up with my Pixel 6, and yeah, let's jump into this. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the box. So it just says Pixel Buds Pro with the Google logo here. You have a picture of the buds. I did get the coral color, uh, or not the coral color, the charcoal color. I was considering getting the coral, but unfortunately I wasn't able to secure a coral Pixel 6. So I figured I would just go with the black. Just a couple more Google logos. You got a Pixel Buds Pro text right there. And then on the back, there is some information that, I don't know. I don't think I need to cover it up, but I will anyways. Uh, you've got a pull tab. There's some like barcode and some other stuff down there. Anyways, so we're going to pull the pull tab. One of the, the reason why I'm using this front facing camera on my iPad is because I'm actually in California, ironically, for a Google internship, which I can talk about more if you guys are interested, but I'm in California right now. That's why I'm in a different scenery and I don't have my camera with me. So that's why I'm recording on my iPad. But we're going to lift the box here and we are immediately presented with our Pixel Buds Pro. It's been a really long time since I've used a pair of Pixel Buds. Like I said, I had the original pair. I really, really liked them, but they started giving me issues. So I had to switch to a different pair of earbuds. And I wasn't planning on buying these since I just got the Nothing Gear Ones and they've been working fairly well, but I simply could not pass up on them once uh, once they came out. So here's the case, we're gonna set that to the side. In the box, you get your little tube with the ear tips. I will probably have to switch out to the small, oops, probably have to switch out to the small ones, but we'll see. And then other than that, you just get your like paperwork in here. So unlike the original Pixel Buds, and I believe the Series A, which I never owned, but heard decent things about, unlike those earbuds, uh, you do not get a charging cable, which is fine because they support wireless charging and it's just USB-C, so you really shouldn't have any problems finding a charger for these. Anyways, here we are with the Pixel Buds Pro. We're just going to remove this paper here. And here they are. So. Just a couple of like, I guess, notes about the Pixel Buds Pro. Let me uh, turn on Do Not Disturb so we can get this going here. So a couple of quick things about the Pixel Buds Pro. So these are Google's first earbuds with noise canceling. Looks like there's like some weird stuff on this case, even though it's brand new. These are Google's first earbuds with noise canceling. So the original Pixel Buds didn't have noise canceling. They were priced at, I think, 180, 179 at launch and so kind of like in place of the noise canceling they had this like adaptive volume feature so in like louder environments the volume would increase and then when it was like quieter the volume would decrease wasn't like a perfect replacement for noise canceling but it did fairly well one second there's some like weird stuff on here that i'm gonna try to clean off whatever that was that was on the earbuds we got it all cleaned off but yeah the previous pixel buds didn't have noise canceling the series a were a cheaper version of like the original Pixel, the second gen Pixel Buds, and they also didn't have noise canceling. So this is Google's first pair of earbuds with noise canceling. Just a couple of other specs. You have up to 31 hours of battery life. So seven hours with noise canceling on with just the earbuds and 11 hours with noise canceling turned off, which I believe is the highest of any true wireless noise canceling earbuds. I could be wrong, but because I know the AirPods are like four and a half, I think the Sony's might be around like six. Anyways, the battery life on these are really, really good compared to what else is out on the market. So you've got noise canceling, transparency mode, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. So this is the case. We're going to lift it and there are the Google Pixel Buds Pro. So, you know, you've got the Google logo, 
you've got your little LED, which indicates that it's in pairing mode, but my phone's turned off right now, so it hasn't picked that up. You can take another closer look at the earbuds. So these are much, <laughs> these are much bigger looking than the, than the original Pixel Buds. Unfortunately, I don't have those on me, but I can do a comparison when I get home. So you've got the Google logo, you've got what I believe are two microphones, and kind of what looks like that like vent that was on the the original Pixel Buds, but I think this might just be a microphone. You've got your sensor here for in-ear detection, and then obviously you've got your ear tip, and if we take this off, you can see the little speaker grow. So these also apparently have sensors in them that are designed to like detect the level of pressure in your ear and kind of like reduce that pressure feeling that some people get with noise canceling earbuds. Me personally, I've never experienced that feeling, um, but I guess it's nice to know that for the people that do, there is a feature there that kind of helps you alleviate that pressure. On the bottom of the case, you have a USB-C port, and on the back, you have a pairing button. Um, these also support wireless charging. So I have a Pixel Stand second gen that I'll test these out with. And then you can always also use reverse wireless charging if your phone supports it. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to set these up. And so that's the really nice thing about the Pixel Buds, they support fast pair. So all you have to do, so I have my phone here, my Pixel 6. So we're just going to open the case. And immediately they pop up. Pixel Buds Pro will appear on devices linked with my uh, Google account. So we're gonna go ahead and hit connect. And just like that, your device is ready to be set up. So we're gonna hit set up. It says starting setup. I wonder if it'll take me through a tutorial like it did with the original. Yep, it did. So it says, welcome to your Pixel Buds Pro. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put them in our ears for the first time. Really excited. Ooh, I'm so excited. I've, I've been waiting for these for a minute. Okay. So one thing about these is they don't have the wing tips that the original Pixel Buds had. Ooh, okay, I can tell noise canceling is turned on. They don't have the wing tips, so they don't feel as secure. And I can already tell that these medium tips are gonna be too big for me, but we'll get through the setup. So this is kind of how they look in the ear. I can immediately tell like noise canceling is turned on. This is super weird. So welcome to your Pixel Buds Pro. So we're gonna go ahead and hit get started. I accept. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch out the, um, the ear tips. These are definitely a little bit too big for me. So we just pull these out. These small ones should be in the top here. Dump them out. Take out the right one as well. Initial impressions on the fit. It's not the best, but again, that could just be because I'm using the wrong size ear tips. So we're gonna swap them out for the small ones and hopefully get a slightly better fit. I miss the wingtips. I know a lot of people said that the wingtips, or some people were saying the wingtips were uncomfortable or that they hurt after a while, but the wingtips, I actually really liked. They were pretty comfortable for me and they helped them stay in and made them feel more secure. So I think you just put them in and then you kind of like rotate them. The fit is a little bit weird with these, but I think we got it. Okay, that fits a little bit better. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because there aren't any wing tips, but there we go. So um, there also is an ear tip seal feature, so we're gonna go ahead and run through that. I'm just gonna hit check now. And okay, a little shake test just to make sure they're secured. We're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so um, looks like the small tips were what I was supposed to be using. So it just gives you a quick little rundown of the touch controls. Swipe forward to raise the volume. Swipe back to lower the volume. Pretty much the same controls as the 2020 Pixel Buds, except now you have touch and hold functionality for active noise canceling, which we will test out. I'm also gonna set up the Google Assistant. 
because I use that all the time with these earbuds and just in general. All right, go ahead and set up voice match. Continue. So here you can set up the, the touch and hold functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my left earbud to toggle active noise cancellation and my right earbud for Google Assistant. The reason why I'm setting it up that way is that usually when I only use one earbud, I always use the right earbud. So since noise canceling doesn't really matter if you only have one earbud in, I'd like my Google Assistant to be on the right earbud and noise canceling on the left. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Enable notification access for the Google app so that it can read me my notifications. And the Google Assistant is ready. So here we go. These are the Pixel Buds Pro. So you have all of the settings here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, you've got your Google Assistant settings, find device. I believe there should be, there might be a, there might be an update to do. Um, says the firmware is up to date, last checked a couple seconds ago. So I guess they're up to date. So uh, here's the, the big new feature with these multi-point audio. So basically you can have these paired to two devices at once and it'll automatically switch between them. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on just to test it out. And yeah, so now we're going to turn on transparency mode. Okay. All right. So one thing about transparency mode, this is a little bit weird. Like I can hear my surroundings. I've been using the nothing ear ones for the past little bit. And I would say their transparency mode is kind of comparable to the AirPods Pro. It's not as good, but it's it's up there i think the airpods pro have a slightly better transparency mode than these do it's a little bit weird i kind of have to get used to it but like i can hear everything things don't sound like weirdly amplified but my voice sounds a little bit weird so that's one thing to know like if i take these out real quick and i put in my nothing ear ones Yeah, the transparency mode on these sounds a little bit different. I can hear my voice better. Noise canceling. Let's turn that on on the nothing here ones. And that should be noise canceling. Okay. Noise canceling. I can kind of, there's a fan in the background that I can kind of hear. But this isn't really supposed to be a comparison video. But, you know, since I have them right next to me, I figured I'd do a quick little go to comparison all right so that's transparency mode and okay i think noise canceling is definitely better on these than it is on the nothing year ones i can hear that fan a lot less so yeah that's kind of the initial unboxing and impressions of the google pixel buds pro I will probably have a full review out in a few weeks once I start listening to music and really starting to test these things out. I am really looking forward to using them. These are, like, I've really been looking forward to these. I've really been looking forward to, like, a pro version of the Pixel Buds because I love the Google Assistant features and the notification readouts and all of the, like, cool features that the Pixel Buds have. Just without noise canceling is how it's been in the past. And so now they have noise canceling. I'll do, like, a quick little song test here so this is a song that i'm listening to right now from the uh the new dreamville album one thing that i really like about these so i have transparency mode turned on right now one thing i really like compared to the airpods pro and the nothing ear ones which are the other two main noise canceling earbuds i've tried out even in transparency mode, I can still, like, hear the bass in my music. With the other two, I'd have to have noise canceling turned on to hear the bass, which is kind of annoying. So it's like I can still hear my surroundings and hear my music really well, which is really cool. If I turn noise canceling on... Okay. Yeah, these sound really good. Yeah, these sound really good. Was that the... Let's see here, tap to play. Touch controls work great. The in-ear detection seems to be a lot better than the original Pixel Buds, which is good to see improvement there. 
yeah, so that's the Pixel Buds Pro. Um, initial sound quality impressions, very, very good. I am looking forward to using these more and testing them out. I will probably have a comparison video between these and the Nothing Gear Ones, and also possibly a comparison video between these and the uh, AirPods Pro if I can get my hands on another pair. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see specifically on the Pixel Buds Pro, any tests you want me to do, or, or anything specifically that you want to hear about. I will try to do that. But other than that, um, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a great day.